August 14. Good news. When he was a Jewish rabbi, Paul was separated as a Pharisee to the laws and traditions of the Jews. But when he yielded to Christ, he was separated to the gospel and its ministry. Gospel means the good news. It is the message that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again, and now is able to save all who trust him. The gospel is not a new message. It was promised in the Old Testament, beginning in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. The prophet Isaiah certainly preached the gospel too. The salvation we enjoy today was promised by the prophets, though they did not fully understand all that they were preaching and writing. Jesus Christ is the center of the gospel message. Paul identifies him as a man, a Jew, and the son of God. He was born of a virgin into the family of David, which gave him the right to David's throne. He died for the sins of the world and then was raised from the dead. It is this miraculous event of substitutionary death and victorious resurrection that constitutes the gospel and it was this gospel that Paul preached. The Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 Look up 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 4, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, chapter 55 verses 1 to 13. Ask the Spirit of God to help you choose one verse from today's reading. Repeat it often during the day. Amen.